Okie dokie. What's up? Um, I am gonna try and do an overnight oat sort of recipe. I'm gonna try and do my own kind of a thing. Gonna do a strawberry and chocolate overnight oats. And yeah, let me show you. By the way, this is my new AirPods. Yeah, got it. Tasty. Love it. Anyway, let's get to the recipe. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to point out real quick that I have no idea what I'm doing. Just a few things from videos that I've seen. Like, I know that I should put a half cup of oats and a half cup of milk. Usually, they use plant-based milk. But I don't have plant-based milk because I don't drink plant-based milk. I use cow milk, okay? And that's what I'm going to use. I will be buying plant-based milk eventually. So what I did here was take two strawberries and a half, put it in here, and I wanted to mush it. Do it like a parade, puree, parade. Let's do a fucking parade. No, <laughs> to do a puree, and it didn't really work out, so I'm probably going to leave it like that. I know that people use whole, and they just throw it in there and then mix it, but I didn't want to do that. But I guess I'm going to do that. I'm also going to use... I think this chocolate, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or steal from my brother because this one's 100% pure cocoa. This one, I'm not sure. I haven't opened it in a while. So, yeah, I'm going to do about a tablespoon of that. And, uh, oh, a pinch of salt because I did learn as well that the salt brings out the chocolate. So, I'm going to do that. Okay, so here I have... So, it's supposed to be half a cup. Most of it's on the counter and on the floor right now. So, or stuck in here. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. I am using this one because it actually specifies that it's natural, unsweetened, 100% cocoa. The other one said 100%, but it didn't say if it's unsweetened. So, I'd rather go with this one. That's about a tea. I mean, tablespoon. Okay. Second, third, I don't know how many tricks I've already said. But the trick was to mix it now before putting in the liquid. Because we don't want the cocoa powder to be all clumpy like it is right now. <laughs> so we're going to mix, 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 mix. I'm going to need two hands for this, okay? Okay, so it's all mixed. Does not look appetizing, but it smells appetizing. Uh, I'm missing the pinch of salt. Definitely poured a lot out. Okay, we're almost done, and that's good because my phone's about to die. But I have the half a cup of milk here. Hopefully, it all goes in. I do not promise anything. Let me take this out. I, I feel nervous with the fork in there. Oh, I'm just a big mess. I... My food is tasty, and I cook very well and bake awesome, but I make a mess, okay? The important thing is that I clean it. Hey, not even one drop of milk out of that cup. That's a win. I'm going to stir this up. I need two hands. There we go. I'm going to cover this up, put it in the fridge, have it tomorrow morning. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I was going to make another one for Carlos. But I remember he doesn't eat strawberries, so he could just try mine. If he likes it, then I'll make it for him later. And uh, tomorrow. I have no idea what freaking day it is. Oh, quarantine already. Do you know what day it is? We don't know what day it is, but I am going to give you an update on the garden and show you what I'm doing right now and ignore that right there. <laughs> this is the prettiest and standing one. It's getting kind of thick on the root, I mean on the roots, on the stem, so looking pretty good. Uh, all of them, the rest of them is like, uh, not really rooting that much for them, but you know, I'm leaving them like this one. And this one, these are pretty much the first ones that actually came out and they're still looking the same. Uh, this one, and then we have this one that keeps growing, but it's all squiggly. This is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so we have two right here. We have 
this one. Okay, we have this one, and then we have this one back here, right? So I put a skewer in here, a pincho stick, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I put a twisty so it could stand up, see if it helps, because they're very limp. Don't worry, I put the twisty very light. Let me see if I can show you. As you can see, there's a lot of room in the twisty and the twisty isn't even twisted. If you can look here, let me see if I can separate it. Look, right there, it's not even twisted. All it's doing is just holding it up so it could give it a little bit of um, structure. See if that helps. I put in, okay, this already has fertilizer in it, right? The soil contains a little bit of fertilizer. And that is snow in the back. <laughs> and I put in, there's this thing that we do, it's coffee inside of the top. Part of the soil did that and then i put in more soil but they're still in so we're gonna see what happens with those hopefully something happens but this one's looking pretty good uh yes we are making the fence thing to go here for when the tomatoes could like just go up it so that's what we're doing but this is the best one okay dokie so we have a big mess here <laughs> We got our sunflowers. Look at how beautiful that is growing. So is this one right here. And this one's coming right back. These are the regular ones. We are getting ready to transplant this into the there. It's going to be all along the, the, the wall. And we're going to have some sticks going off. So it could give them support and everything. Cause right now they're starting to go limb so we want them to have their own support system i might put in a skewer but i'm not sure if i want to do that for these but this is the velvet one and i don't know if they just like grow like this but they're very straggly like it's not straight up like the regular sunflowers these like take a curve they're looking pretty good though but these two, the ones that actually look like they're about to blossom are the ones that are like floppy and not standing up. And they they take this like curve kind of a situation. So I don't know. That's why we want to transplant them to see what happens. And then here, oh, these are the skewers. And I put on cinnamon on the top part of the soil. Because it helps seedlings to grow. It gives a little bit of nutrients. And um, it helps with, what was it? Ants. Keep away ants. And can't remember if it was soil or cats. I don't know. I had the mixture of co coffee in every single one. And cinnamon on top. The coffee in the, in the middle of the soil pretty much. And then the cinnamon on top. Here we got the string bean looking very nice okay i don't know a lot about string beans i don't know if this is a good thing these two things are drying out but the top is looking very nice and flourishing so i don't know and it's very tall then here's the same so we got this here but then in the middle it's kind of like flourishing so i don't know here we have the oregano it's not really doing much we just kind of like just have it here <laughs> it's not growing oh maybe it is a little bit since i put in the coffee i think it is actually growing a little bit but it looks more it looks way more green like much more so i don't know we're growing more oregano in here so we transplant which those are the ones that are coming out right here so yeah it might look like that because um the seeds were really really small and i couldn't really see how many i put in probably i put in a few hopefully that's not a problem and then over here we have one starting to pop out and that's finally a chile if you guys remember in my past vlog i'll link it up here a link 
showing you that the first thing that we did here, which was like spinach, chili, green beans, uh, parsley, all those kind of things, they did not work out and we had to throw them out because they got, I don't know, they just like disintegrated <laughs> the seeds. So doing it again, but this is the second one that I did. As you can see, nothing's happening. So I'm pretty sure it's just this container. And later in the week, we had to do our Walmart run for grocery stores. Yes, we're still in quarantine. So we only go out for groceries. Uh, while we're in Walgreens, Walmart. I always confuse Walgreens with Walmart. Right, babe? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm going to head over there, go to the garden section, and get the, the the black trays that are specifically for growing seedlings and see if that, if that works because this has been a fail. But thank goodness I have quite a few seeds left. But this one is the third one that I did, which this one contains four oreganos. Uh, let me see what there is here four cilantros and then two chiles that's what i have there the two oreganos okay and the difference is that these two oreganos are from one pack that i bought here in puerto rico and i think these two oreganos were the ones that my mom sent me no backwards okay Top are mine that I bought here in Puerto Rico. And the bottom ones are the ones that my mom sent me from Arizona. So I wanted to see how they did. And as you can see, the Arizona ones are actually growing out pretty fast. So we got a few of those there. And then same thing for the cilantro. These two are the ones that I bought here in Puerto Rico. And these two are the ones that my mom sent from Arizona. And then the chiles are the ones that I bought here in Puerto Rico. Here is our pepper a little pepper plant and it's doing so good is that an ant i think these are ants i don't know shake them off shake them off all the bugs off doing pretty good okay i want you to see this this is how good look at that they have two there got two there got a few growing in there and yeah it's looking really good Today I cut off this major uh, main stem there to see if it gives it more energy towards the sides, which keep reading that that's a good thing. Now, our ahi, <laughs> our ahi, ahi, if you don't know what that is in English, it's our sweet chile. It is not growing at all. It's been like that since we bought it weeks ago maybe even a month ago right i don't know when we bought this we bought this a long time ago and i keep yeah i did the same thing that they recommend for like peppers and chiles and everything which is cut off the middle part of a stem so it could grow energy towards the sides i had done that nothing happened it's not dying or anything look at this it just stays the same so i cut off another one and no it hasn't always been in this container. It actually was in another container and it still wasn't growing in that either. So I switched it to this, see if it needed more room and everything, but it's still staying the same. Okie dokie. So right here, I actually have one green bean in here. See if I could plant more green beans because we could at least fit in another one, maybe a second, fourth one. I don't know. Here is actually the recentest one that I planted and it is thriving. It is going fast. This is broccoli and I did not put that many seeds in here. I put two here in the corner and two here in this corner. That's it. And look at how, look at that. It's just like we have four grown and then this one's about to sprout as well. And it's kind of flimsy as well, but got to see what happens with that one. And then we also have our second broccoli one, but this one has only grown this single one, which I did put a seed there. 
And yes, we will be planting these not in one of these. We're going to be planting it in at least a five gallon, maybe less, maybe a gallon. I think I saw that I could put it in a gallon one. I don't know. But we'll be transplanting in something way bigger. And in these two, which is this one and that one, we planted lettuce at the same time as our broccoli, which was just a few days ago. And this one, as you can see, doesn't have anything yet. But this one, I can't even see anymore. But I think you can see right there in the corner, right there where my thumb is, it's starting to grow. I did the same method, two seedlings here, two seedlings there, two seedlings here, two seedlings there. Because I know that some seeds are defaulted or dead and they don't work. So put in two just in case. This one, this one, and that one are our three basils, which are thriving. Look at that. This is the biggest one. And I love it. We are going to start transplanting. I took them out to see how the root system is on the bottom. And it's not fully there yet. So I want to wait a little more before transplanting them. And then our last one is my recao, which is standing up. I don't see much growth with it. But it is staying standing up, which is a good sign. And our mint. Our mint has pretty much stayed the same. We only had one scare that it was drooping and it looked like it was gonna die fully. Then I put extra water in it. And from there on, I haven't had any problems. But yeah, I don't really see that much growing for the mint, but it's nice. You know, I touch it and then all of a sudden, everything smells like mint. 